Hold it. What you're looking at now is a sunshine grass dance. And anybody knows what that is. It's a grass. <laughs> Hottest day of the year, too. This is Jim Nixon, president of the student body, and this is Jim Nixon, the president of the student body, and a prime mover in the experimental college here at San Francisco State. Jim, how does this, uh, whatever it is, tie in with the Experimental College? Well, the Experimental College is interested in a whole range of different issues and concerns, and this is just one of them. But we feel quite strongly that education has got to look at what's happening in the culture today. And if we're going to confront the issues that are of some real concern to young people, we've got to begin looking at what they're doing and then analyzing it and examining it. And so Experimental College has been involved in educational issues primarily, but we're going to move into looking at what's happening culturally, too. And this weekend is going to be strictly cultural? Yeah, pretty much. There's going to be a whole range of different events happening, and anyone that's interested out in the community in finding out what's happening with young people can find pretty much everything that's going on in one place or another on the campus this weekend. So in that respect, you uh, also consider it to be educational as well? I think that that's quite right, both educational in the sense that young people are getting to look at one another and what they're doing, and also... They don't look at one another when they're dancing. Well, I don't know. <laughs> A lot of them do. <laughs> but uh, in addition to that, it's often the case that the society reacts to what young people are doing without really getting involved in it and seeing what it is. And if they react hostily, that often evokes a hostile reaction from the young people, too. And what we're trying to do is set up a situation where both kinds of groups can look at one another and come to perhaps appreciate what's happening more. So it's kind of a new endeavor for the Experimental College, but we hope it'll be quite successful. What are 
our sensory awareness exercises. This is the thing Bernie Gunther is doing with the Esalen Institute down at the Hot Springs. It's something we're trying for the first time this weekend. It's him doing these for a large group of people. It's him leading them and getting aware of their own bodies, their own senses, their breathing, where they're at, who they're with. They may be down on the floor, crawling around with their eyes closed, just meeting other people, things like this. Yeah, I can't miss that. Uh, tell me about this, uh, this happening called multi-food. What is that all about? Well, multi-food is uh, various kinds of food which will be coming together to keep the whole thing fed. Uh, since we're going day and night, we'll be doing all the usual things like waking, sleeping, eating, going to the john. So uh, we've got to bring in the whole logistics to make that happen. That's uh, all very clear now. Thank you. partner anyway, do you? You don't need a partner. Go ahead. You got two here. <laughs> what, uh, what are extra sensory, no, 